the thing about wigs is that sometimes they are the cure of hair loss because they can be a great protective style but oftentimes they're also the cause of hair loss resulting in women having alopecia especially around the perimeter of their head due to ongoing tension in the same area so i know there's a lot of misconceptions that afro hair should not be washed often and to a certain extent that is true it's really important that you don't rush or skip this step because the truth is when you're wearing wigs over a long period of time a lot of bacteria can build up on your scalp through sweat and just different environmental conditions Pay special attention to the ends of your hair because that is really the area that needs it. It's the oldest part of the hair, it's the driest part of the hair and it's the part of the hair that is most likely to fall off if it doesn't stay at good moisture levels. Once you have taken off your camos, you are going to find that your hair is still feeling moisturised, it's still feeling soft which means the chances of you retaining the length that you achieved through having your cameras on is gonna stay on your head. Day-to-day -day practice of putting your wig on and off causes a lot of friction on your hair and can also result in breaking. So choose a wig that is gonna allow you to always keep an eye on what is going on with your own hair. So the hair porosity test, which we've all heard lots of different things about. And to be honest, there are a lot of misconceptions and false knowledge all over the internet. Porosity is basically the hair's ability to absorb moisture. 